Hello everyone and happy Sunday evening. I'm KX Storm Team member Carolyn Gursky and we're taking a look outside at our KX cams. Seeing a mixture of those blue skies out there with those clouds and Bismarck's finally starting to see a little bit of sun shining through the clouds there. Our temperatures are currently anywhere from the lower 60s into the upper 70s. So right now in Rugby it's 72, it's 63 in Garrison and it's 72 in Watford City. And winds are anywhere from about 5 to 16 miles an hour here, predominantly out of the north. And if we go ahead and take a look at our visibility, we are seeing a bit of reduced visibility in Dickinson. We're down to 6 miles, so if you're out on the road, make sure that you turn your headlights on. And we might be seeing some more patchy fog late tonight in the central regions of our state. So something to make sure that you're aware of as we head throughout the night. And then if we go ahead and take a look at our satellite and radar, still seeing those showers and isolated thunderstorms. However, as we see from the radar, it's, they're, they're starting to get smaller, they're starting to diminish, and that's going to be the trend as we head throughout the night into the later hours and into tomorrow morning. Then we're going to see less of those showers. We're also seeing a few isolated thunderstorms. You might be hearing a little bit of rumbles of thunder if you're over near Minot right now. Of course, though, the chances for these showers and storms to turn severe for us, we do have that non-severe threat. So any of these showers and thunderstorms that we're seeing we're not expecting them to be severe. Of course, the KX Storm team will keep an eye on it, though. And if we go ahead and roll precision cast as we go ahead and head throughout the day and into the early morning hours of Monday, like I said, that rain is going to continue to diminish and start to move out of our region. And by Monday, we should be seeing those clear and dry skies out there. And I'll tell you more about that coming up on KX News at 10.